Hello, I'm Penny Melville Brown from Baking Blind. I don't see at all. I can't even tell whether it's light or dark. But I don't let anything stop me from getting the very best out of life. As you can see from all the videos of me cooking around the globe. This was a really exciting day with Aboriginal chef Fred. He showed us what a wealth of food there is out there, hidden in the Australian bush. First, we went off to get a snapper fish for him, and Fred brought the wrapping. It was a real delight to meet him. Fred, what is this? This is a gourmet lily leaf. And it's amazing, and it's really succulent. Oh, and, yeah. and, and how are we going to use this? We're going to use this when we wrap the fish up. Of course, if I wrap the fish in paper bark yeah. straight on the fish, it's going to stick to the skin when it's cooking. Yeah. So we use this like a bit of a baking paper, Aboriginal baking paper. Yeah, and it's also got the shape to we lay the fish yeah. along here. We certainly can. So that makes it nice and neat and then it's easier to yep. wrap. Easier makes to it wrap. Nice, neat to cook off. So that will, will that help us tie it? And exactly right. How did you know? Oh, <laughs> this is the paper bark, Fred. Sure is, yeah. We're going to soak it in some water down here. Yeah, about 10 minutes you think? About 10 minutes, 20 minutes. And you were saying it's pretty waterproof? It is, it is. So um, that's why we've got to soak it. Yeah. Um, if you, you can use it for thatchings on, on roofs yeah. and stuff like that as well, because it is really waterproof. You got this paper bark from where? Off the tree. But you, found, you, you said it was near some, or was uh, it the paper bark or the leaves? Yeah, no, nah, the, the, the paper bark. Got it from some steel um, roots? No, yep. that was the... Got it up in Wollongong, near the steelworks there, so it's going to have that extra smoky flavour through. it. <laughs> Look, I've just put a, put a weight on that, yep. so it keeps it underwater. And we'll, we'll leave that for like 10, 15 minutes. Because you can imagine, if you put this dry paper back on, yep. on the fire, it's just going to... It's just going to catch on fire, isn't it? Yeah. So that's why we soak it. Fred's got a long-term back injury, but he'd made his own bit of stick that come out of the fell out of the tree and um, and it's got this really smooth handle is yeah. that how you use it because then that's, that's how of, i use it you, you can put a lot of force down there can't yeah you? i can get I lots can, of support i can sit on that myself actually can you oh, yeah. show me how you sit on it <laughs> how am i going to do that when i can't sit <laughs> first we had to cut the lily leaf Have your fingers yeah. What's your fingers? You mind right? your fingers? Yeah. I, can, I know where mine are, I don't know where yours are. Oh, <laughs> well, you missed them. You've done wrong. Have I done it badly? <laughs> How is that? <laughs> Spot on. Uh, have, have a smell. <gasps> That's lemony. Yeah. Is that lemon myrtle? Sure is. Yeah. Now, now grind the leaf up a bit, try mm. to get those. Yeah. Get the oils out of it. Yeah. Give yeah. them a good scrunch up. Oh, then have, and then have a smell. Mm, I'm chewing it's it. It's amazing, eh? Mm, 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 mm. What else would you use that for? Well, I'm going to put it in some fish. Yeah. Um, you can use it for anything that you use lemon for. And we're going to put this probably in the cavity of the fish? Yep, just yep. like a lemon. Just like a lemon. Fred, tell me what we've laid out here. Okay, we've got our nice snapper here. Yep. Uh, we've got the paper bark laid underneath and the gynele lily leaves. And I'm going to put this lemon myrtle inside the fish cavity. Yep. We're going to roll those over. Yep, you got it. Roll them over. Just tie it up like normal. Any special knot? <laughs> no, um, the one that does up. The one that does up, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. So hopefully, we've got most of it all wrapped up. So that none of it... All that smoke's going to stay inside and the moisture. Right, so we're going to toss this on the barbecue? Yeah, put this on the barbecue, yeah? Yeah. Half an hour? Yeah, about half an hour. And we had some excited guests waiting for their fish lunch. And while we were waiting, Fred showed me a bush plant that makes catching fish really easy. This is a wattle tree. Yep. Now there's plenty of different varieties around. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the varieties, possibly not this one, you can grind the leaves up and if you've got a fish pond or yep. in a fish trap right out in the river where all the fish are gathered then you can drop 
some of this stuff in the yep. water and it takes the oxygen out of the water. So then the fish all float to the surface. Dead? No, not dead. Right. Well, it's not a poison, but... It just it takes the oxygen? Takes the oxygen out of the water, yeah. How fascinating. We checked the fish. The wrappings were doing their job. It was a hot job getting that parcel to the table ready to dish up. Oh, wow. Ah, is that... That's fish. That's definitely fish. <laughs> that is delicious. It is moist, beautifully cooked. Fred, this is our finished dish. And it was snapper cooked in paper bark. And diamond lily leaves. And it's just come out beautiful. Thank and of you. course it had some lemon myrtle in the yep. middle of it, didn't it? Lemon myrtle through the middle of it, just the same way you put normal. And you had lemon. some mint. What was the mint? Um, that was river mint. Yeah. That stuff? Yeah. So that was in there as well, wasn't it? Yep. Delicious. You too could do this at home. Ah. Next time, Fred explains what other bush plants can do. And there's a major drama. Don't miss it.